Yo, what is going on guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. So ever since this game's release, it has been met with mixed reactions from us players. There are those of us that absolutely love it. There are those of us that absolutely hate it. And I think it's safe to say that in terms of most of us from everything that I've seen and everything that you guys have been telling me in the comment section and all the stuff in between, well, it's a mixed bag. Just like I mentioned in previous videos, the best way to describe this game is that it's a mixed bag. Now, they've made some changes for the better. They've made some changes for the worse. That makes you think, what are they thinking? Or is there is there some sort of miscommunication going on or whatnot? I've basically, I've made my videos speaking my voice and, and basically just voicing my opinion over the things that I do not like about the game. But at the same time, if there's something that I like about the game, like for instance, when when the last update went up and I felt the difference in the hit detection, I was just, I couldn't be more thankful because it made the biggest difference for me. And the thing that gets me is that most of us, when a new Black Ops game comes out, one of the things that tells you right away of whether or not it's like really, really solid is the fact that, well, I think that most of us can agree that Black Ops 1 was a great Call of Duty game, Black Ops 2 was a great Call of Duty game, and Black Ops 3 was a break a great Call of Duty game so but with this game we can't say that as easily and on top of that we're passionate about it and you want to know why I personally am passionate about it is because they are just one little update with little just subtle simple changes from this game being an overall much better experience for everybody I'm not just talking about the a certain type of player that's really really good or a certain type of player that's just newbie or anything. I'm just talking about everybody, regardless of where you stand in terms of skill or what kind of fan you are at Call of Duty. Obviously, we're just breaking this down about multiplayer. But seriously, with these changes that I will be suggesting respectfully to Treyarch, and if there's a miracle, maybe one of their guys that's a part of their team will see this. I highly doubt it because I'm I'm a small fry up in here. Uh, but who knows? You just never know. Sometimes the word of mouth has a funny way of spreading, especially when it comes to the internet or whatnot. So these five changes are very, very simple, and they can make the this game so much more enjoyable and so much more better and even more balanced in a, in a sense, depend, uh, depending on the thing specifically that I'm going to be talking about. So without further ado, let's get straight into the point here because I've already <laughs> spent uh, like three minutes... Uh, to introing this video so the first thing that I want to uh, suggest is that they balance specialists now I'm not asking for them to get rid of specialists I've already asked that before and obviously that's not gonna happen and on top of that it may take a while if at all before we get a, a specialist a no specialist playlist but I think we can meet somewhere in the middle and at the same time what they did with specialists in Black Ops 3 wasn't really broken anyway so why change or try to fix it or or try to improve upon something that really isn't broken and didn't need improving in the first place so what I'm trying to say here and respectfully suggest is that they go back to the black ops 3 system in other words to where you have to choose whether you want the equipment or the ability and even if this change were to be implemented the game would still be decently chaotic but the difference being is that it's not going to be too overly chaotic to where people get pissed off from bullshit uh, bullshit after death after bullshit death and they won't they won't be as frustrated and on top of that it really makes a unique balancing factor for the person that has to decide okay like let's say for instance the tempest right or the prophet let's say they had to choose between the that little RC thing, or I keep on forgetting what it's called right now at this point, the seeker that keeps on looking for you, right? If they had to choose that be between that and the Tempest, I think regardless of what kind of player you are, it would make a very unique and interesting balancing factor. And having two, having both of those, in my opinion, is a little overkill, um, to put it nicely. And if you just have to choose one over the other, which both of them are good, both the seeker and the Tempest in this game are good, so... It, I think it would be a lot more balancing if you just get to choose one uh, in, over the other. So that is my first suggest suggestion. My next suggestion is to simply eliminate flinch. Back in the beta, 
they basically had like either no flinch whatsoever or it was just so light that it was barely felt in the first place and I could just say we need to either A, go back to that or B, just eliminate flinch in the first place. Flinch has been something that we've been requesting for the commu from the community for years now that we it just doesn't really need to be in the game. It, it really doesn't and in my opinion it also rewards bad players because remember as I've stated in previous videos the di one of the biggest differences between a good player and a bad player is a good player is able to stay on target and a bad player simply does not simply they can't stay on target not not to the way that a good player can but when you add flinch into it let's say a bad player happens to spot you and they manage to get the first shot off of you right and all of a sudden when you're trying to ADS and kind of fire back at them and use your your skills your strafe and everything in between right the flinch just throws you so far off that there's literally like no way that you can basically come come back from that it doesn't give you a fighting chance and even with a game with 150 health that to me is kind of annoying especially when call of duty should first and foremost focus on gun on gun and i think uh treyarch could definitely agree with that and on top of that there's one other thing as well there's the fact that it also it, the flinch also rewards easy headshots and when you pair that with high caliber a player that is not necessarily very good and just happens to get shot first right let's say the good player shoots the bad player first all of a sudden that flinch will also cause that player to get easy headshots granted they fire back and they're decently on target and usually they're not on target and that's the thing the fl they're not on target but the flinch kind of helps them get to that headshot target if that if that makes any sense to a certain degree so that in and of itself is very annoying and it's it really is annoying to also get first shot on somebody and then all they have to do is basically fire back and they get an easy headshot and you're just dead before you know it so and I think everybody since Black Ops 2 has been requesting it uh, like everybody used toughness it wasn't necessarily just a, a, a quote-unquote crutch perk it was simply because we did not like to play the game with flinch it's simple as that and Black Ops 3 was able to get away with this, but uh, there was also the advanced movement. But in this game, a boots on the ground game, you just simply can't. Next suggestion, more points for objective game modes. I think it's, uh, I think game modes like Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, for instance, just to name a few, you need to get more points for collecting dog tags and capturing domination points or getting in the hardpoint or whatnot. It wasn't broken in Black Ops 3. It wasn't blo broken in Black Ops 2. So why why nerf it? I don't I don't understand completely, to be honest. So that would be a, a very great suggestion, and I think we as a community would greatly praise you guys and appreciate it if that were to happen as well. And it would make it a lot more. It would give us another reason to go and play those kind of modes, because there are so many people that are just not playing the OBJ and are just going for kills because they're barely getting a difference in points, unless they're competitive players, which in case the objective is to win but at the same time you know wouldn't those points also be great for for score streaks and kill streaks which are harder to get in this game oh by the way that's my next one my next one is um oh well yeah slightly reduce the cost of score streaks just slightly just slightly more just a little bit not much and on top of that it'll make the comsac device i think that's a comsac device right to where score streaks are worth uh it's easier to get score streaks i think it would be more people would be using the comsac device as well if if we slightly reduce the cost of score streaks or what you can do is if the comsec device is fine the way it is which in my opinion yes it is but not many people are using it but because the other the other things are just um, a little bit more valuable to them in this game but uh, in terms of the base score if they can just slightly lower it by like a hundred or 150 depending on the the tier of the score streak I think that would be excellent and even 50 for like something like a UAV or a counter UAV, th those 50 points can make a big difference in the long run. So there's that. And of course, my last point, the fifth and final one is, well, a a as Treyarch knows, and as everybody else in the Call of Duty community knows, freedom and to choose the way you play is something that makes Call of Duty Call of Duty. The way the, the amount of customization you could do for your classes, for instance, right? And that's one of the things that World War II failed at. They did a huge overhaul with the game, which definitely was a step in the right direction. 
But uh, obviously Treyarch doesn't need to take it to that extent as, as this video pretty much just proves in terms of the suggestions. But the thing is, one thing that could use just a little bit of a more of a touch is just allow us the freedom to choose the attachments that we want to choose for our weapons. Like for instance, we're more limited now <clears throat> depending on weapon class and weapon selection itself in terms of what we can and cannot use. So let's let's allow quick draw to be on every assault rifle. Let's allow stock to be on every assault rifle, just to name a few suggestions here and there. Long barrel, all that kind of stuff. It's going to make for a really greater mix and in a, in a multitude of ways to use weapons as well. And again, it'll have people use other weapons that they normally haven't used for that because of that reason. All of a sudden, they'll be using those weapons a lot more, and therefore the game will be more enjoyable and more customizable which is again what makes call of duty call of duty but anyway that's all i got for this one guys five very very easy changes that could be made with just one easy update easy patch and it could make black ops 4 that much better that much more balanced and that much more enjoyable you really can't lose so let me know down in the comment section what you guys think um and uh you just never know anything is possible in this world especially in the world over the uh, on the internet so um, if you agree with this, spread the word. Spread the word and let's make it happen. And as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. I'll catch you guys on the next one.